As we go on guys, my name is Frank and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing our Trust Wallet uh, DeFi wallet review. Now we're going to be going through what exactly Trust Wallet is, how we can use it, uh, what sort of features that they offer in the app and browser extension, and then ultimately hopefully help you guys determine whether it is the right exchange for you or not. Now before we do jump any further, uh, do remember if I can find my mouse, there it is to subscribe to the channel we're currently at 534 subscribers so thank you to everyone that has joined and if you do enjoy this sort of content we do weekly cryptocurrency videos on a variety of different things different reviews uh you know technical analysis what uh, certain events mean all different kinds of stuff so if you do enjoy this sort of content make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button like the video and comment any questions you might have down below regarding uh, the trust wallet token or any other crypto related inquiries now the Trust Wallet is a very simple DeFi wallet that basically just offers uh, people the, the option to store their cryptocurrencies away from exchanges because we all know what happens or what can happen with exchanges if they you know go underwater liquidate users who are holding their assets through the exchange are likely to lose uh, all their money you know all the cryptos that are involved with that particular exchange so holding cryptocurrencies through uh, decentralized wallets such as trust wallet can be appealing uh, as it is not uh, connected to any company or anything like that it is just a you know your wallet that you take responsibility of and there are positives and negatives of that absolutely now of course with DeFi wallets there does come that added responsibility you have to remember your recovery phrases uh, passwords all those different things you have to ensure that you're sending uh, the correct money through the correct blockchain to the correct address uh, all those different things that exchanges will typically just do in the background for you you have to take responsibility of that yes uh, that you know if you do mess up any of those, you can absolutely lose funds. That is the case. But honestly, most people uh, won't find it too difficult. It is quite straightforward once you get the gist of it. And of course, the huge added benefit of, you know, your wallet, uh, or sorry, not if, it, you know, you, I hear the old saying, not your keys, not your crypto. Owning uh, your cryptos through your own wallet means they are yours. You solely own them. They're not connected to an exchange. So that's why people look at things like trust wallet now what exactly is trust wallet well true crypto ownership powerful web3 experience okay so these guys were founded in 2017 but they recently became popular uh, late in the last bull market in 2021 when they released their uh, TWT token or the trust wallet token uh, which exploded into popularity that was right around the uh, the time around FTX and Terra and all those different things that were going on uh, with the exchange collapses. So people were looking uh, for decentralized exchanges and Trust Wallet came along uh, and released their own token. So Trust Wallet, they offer their wallets through uh, the mobile app, which you can just download through the App Store or uh, Google Play or whatever it is, and obviously a browser extension as well. We're going to be doing ours, uh, the tutorial today through the mobile app because that's uh, what I have it on. Uh, features, there are some really good features with Trust Wallet. Obviously, uh, you know, buying, swapping, storing uh, your cryptos through the Trust Wallet token, but also being able to stake and earn a yield. So, crypto uh, currencies that are proof of stake that have that option, such as Ethereum, uh, Kronos, Lunic, all these different ones, uh, that you can stake them in the Trust Wallet to earn a yield. All right, so let's jump straight into the app now. We're going to go through basically how to create a wallet, um, how to deposit uh, funds, cryptocurrencies, how to stake it, and then ways that you can you know, swap, buy, sell, all those different sort of things. So first things first, here we are just on my main wallet. But what we're going to want to do uh, when you first uh, create your account, you're going to need to add a new wallet. So simply to for me to create a new wallet as I uh, already have a main wallet, I simply go to settings, uh, go to wallet, and I can add so you can add multiple wallets which is nice also if you wanted um, if you wanted to have extra security maybe I don't know if you maybe you share a wallet with someone uh, like your partner or something and then you want uh, your own wallet I'm not sure why you'd want uh, multiple wallets but it's always the option which is nice so what we're going to do is create a new wallet so uh, create a new wallet or you, you sorry there was the uh, option there to add an existing wallet but we're just going to uh, create a new wallet now you can do it through the new Swift option, but I prefer to keep it simple with the old uh, security phase that they offer. So 
I will create a new wallet. All right, so back up secret phrase. So this is where you get given your recovery phase. Now it's super important that you jot this down, keep it somewhere uh, on a piece of paper or whatever it might be uh, in order to remember it. Because if hypothetically you, you, you break your phone, right? Obviously you've got your trust wallet, uh, your DeFi wallet on the trust wallet app on your phone. And how do you recover that? Where you use your secret phrase uh, to back up the wallet. So next time you go on the trust wallet, you, know, you can recover your wallet using the phrase. So this is where the responsibility comes in. Obviously trust wallet, do not keep a copy of your secret phrase. Uh, and if you do save this digitally, like on your phone, for example, and you break your phone, well, uh, that's not very good, is it? Obviously, you're going to lose your recovery phrase and your uh, wallet itself. So keep this, uh, I think it was, you know, recommended to keep this in a physical form of something of some sort, you know, whether that's on a you know piece of paper uh, written down or typed up or something like that. So if, you know, and have it in multiple spots, you know, maybe you can keep it on your phone, but also have a physical backup if that makes sense. All right, so then it wants us to just uh, tick these to make sure we've understood. Continue, and then boom, there is our secret phrase. So you can see it just gives us a random uh, automated 12 words. So, and you know, it's really, it's gonna be almost impossible for anybody to guess, uh, you know, 12 random words in the correct order. So I'll jot these down now. Okay, so I've written all my 12, uh, the secret phrase, all 12 words written down. So of course now, this is just going to be my burner wallet. I'm not going to put any funds on this, so go ahead and hack my wallet. Uh, you know, I'm probably just going to delete it after this anyway. So, uh, but there it is uh, written down there, and we just want to press continue. All right, so word one, what was word one? So I've got it on my piece of paper. So word one was what? So click what? Uh, word four was popular. Word five was movie. Word 11 was flock so obviously they just do this just to make sure that you do actually have it written down uh try and just ensure that everyone is uh up to speed with this and then boom main wallet one so obviously main wallet and main wallet one uh no funds i've just made this so uh, we can now deposit funds buy sell yada yada okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is either receive cryptos or buy cryptos through the trust wallet app so for starters we'll just go through and uh pretend to buy cryptos i'm not actually going to buy cryptos but i'll show you guys the process so you can see here we are on the buy section that we just clicked on and what we can do here is just press on bitcoin for example uh, and then it comes up with a recommended uh, way of buying because that way we get the most bitcoin essentially you can see all the DeFi uh options that we can purchase through using a credit card apple pay or digital wallet and you can see if we press on apple pay i think it does slightly change how much we're going to get we'll do it on lunic not available okay i uh, will try bnb so if you see 50 dollars worth of bnb with you know through a credit card with alchemy or alchemy pay is uh you know 0 0.05081 and if we change that to apple pay it drops down just a little bit so that's why they're recommending uh the credit card because it's cheaper uh, for whatever reason and that's where you get the most bnb for 50 dollars but of course you can just use everything through apple pay there might be fees involved with this so you can see uh if we have a look at this just the home page as well what are the fees uh, the fees are provided in real time by our individual fiat on ramp partners such as moonpay simplex ramp and others we've integrated with multiple third party payment providers to give you a range of convenient options and you can expect favorable quotes it's important to note that each payment method may have a different fee structure which can also be influenced by your region so most of the fees here are incorporated when you go to buy so you know you go to buy bitcoin uh those that, that does incorporate most of the fees there may still be third party fees uh, from your bank from you know whatever you pay with they might charge a small fee you know it's going to be really case by case and you've got to go have a look at it yourself figure out what the best uh, options are for you and do please take note as well some you know all these cryptos the way you can pay is different uh all the you know if we have a look at chronos for example and we go to buy 90 dollars worth uh the first thing first is is that the minimum purchase is 90 dollars for cro for whatever reason uh so you know some of these have different minimum purchase prices this one you can only use a bank transfer it doesn't even give you the option uh to use apple pay which is quite unfortunate and i'm sure if we were to uh where are we cryptos i'm sure if we were to just scroll through yeah, if we were to scroll through and have a look at all these different cryptos, some of them you can't even buy. 
uh, if you know if you press on buy it just says not available uh, so you know some of them you can only deposit uh, through like a through one of the decentralized blockchains uh, but you know the option to buy is there uh, mostly just probably just best off for uh, your bigger cryptos if you wanted to otherwise just use an exchange and uh, on ramp it that way so in order to use the exchange and then send crypto over first thing you're going to want to do on your trust wallet token is press the receive button uh, now if we go to the chronos uh, you can see i've done a test run uh, and we click on that it does give you a uh, wallet uh, qr code that you so you can either scan this qr code or copy the address now typically i will just press copy the address so you just click on that and the address is copied and then you need to go to your exchange of choice in this case we'll go to uh, crypto.com and then all different exchanges are going to be slightly different, but they're going to have the option to transfer or withdraw or something like that. So transfer, withdraw, uh, external wallet. Now you can see I've got mine added in already, but what you would normally do is just press the plus button there. Uh, and then wallet address, and you would post your wallet address in. Make sure that blockchain is correct. We're using the Kronos blockchain um, in this case. So Kronos blockchain, you would just simply paste the address. There we go, and then you name the wallet, and that should be sweet to go. Now, because we've already set up the wallet, we can simply just, you know, we've already got it saved here, so we just press on withdraw, confirm and withdraw. Uh, the amount of CRO we'll send over, we'll just send over, uh, we'll send over 12, why not? So, withdraw 12 CRO. Now, you can see there is a network fee of 1 CRO, so we will, so we're sending 11 there's a fee of one uh, CRO, so uh, the total is 12 CRO. Confirm, face ID, and then we're gonna have to do our verification process, which I will do. All right, and then literally in maybe a minute or so, uh, it has already been sent through, so you can see now uh, we've got 20 CRO, so it was nine CRO, uh, and the transaction itself hasn't updated, but there's plus nine, and then there will be plus 11 CRO, so that's all well and good, and it is really just that simple, right? Uh, de now, depending on your crypto, you've got to be careful with fees and stuff. Obviously, if you're sending through uh, chains that uh, are more congested with higher fees like Ethereum, uh, you could expect to pay a considerable amount. So do be careful just with what cryptos you're sending through on what chain, fees, those sort of things. Obviously, you want to get the best deal for yourself. And now that we, you know, have, our, you know, cryptocurrencies in our cryptocurrency wallet, we can simply store them here. We can hold them now uh, securely. We could, you know, if we when we want to go send them off, we can do the same thing that we just did in reverse. You know, go get the wallet, generate a wallet on the exchange, uh, and then send it through from here. Uh, we could sell our cryptocurrencies. So you can see, oh yeah, so you can't sell Kronos. Uh, so some cryptos, I guess, you can't sell, uh, which is unfortunate. And it looks like you can sell Bitcoin. So same thing again, just like you couldn't buy some cryptos uh, through um through trust wallet you can't sell them either so you're going to have to use an exchange and send them around and of course there is the option to swap cryptocurrency so we could swap our uh I might not let us use swap chronos either no so it looks like we can only swap uh bnb uh chain tokens which is a bit unfortunate but if we wanted to swap say you know our bnb for trust wallet tokens we could do that absolutely uh to help avoid fees you know if we were to sell it from uh, one crypto to fiat, fiat to another crypto, you know, help avoid those sort of fees and things. Another great thing that we spoke about earlier that Trust Wallet offer is their uh, earn programs or their staking programs. So you can see that they've got quite a variety um, of different tokens that you can stake and earn. Obviously, the big ones being ETH, BNB, Cardano, uh, Solana, you know, maybe, yeah, Carver, a few other ones that are pretty decent. And they do generally have pretty competitive rates from what I've seen. Um, you know, ETH 4%, 4.14% is pretty good. BNB at 5%. You know, these are all pretty competitive rates. So uh, I'm not really, I haven't gone out and, you know, scouted to see how they stack up to different exchanges. But generally speaking, uh, these are pretty good rates. So we'll just go ahead and stake some of our CRO. Now, of course, with each uh, different uh, blockchain, there's going to be different requirements, such as our lock time. Uh, how much the maximum and minimum is so you can see it was 28 days lockup period or not lockup period but an unbonding period sorry for the chronos chain whereas uh ethereum only has a four day unbonding period so you know you do have to be careful with things like that what's bnb seven day unbonding period so that's from when you 
uh, unstaked when you actually receive your assets. It's just a design uh, to help stop volatility. So let's just go ahead and stake our CRO tokens now. And you can see that they do give us a variety um, of different options to stake through. So Vino, yada yada, King Stake, all these different ones, right? And they've just recommended one uh, for us pretty well based off what's got the best reward. Uh, we'll stake 15. Oh, we don't have enough. <laughs> all right, so we don't have a high enough balance. It doesn't actually say. All right, so go me. Uh, after just explaining how, you know, make sure you send through the white the right uh, blockchain and everything, I actually just realized that the only validators for CRO on the Trust Wallet token are through the crypto.org uh, staking protocols. So no Kronos chain uh, protocols, which I didn't actually realize. So uh, whoops, no, that's a bit of a niche uh, for those of you that can un that understand that Kronos blockchain has two different blockchains and there's different validators on each one. Look, it's not really the point, but we've got more Crow uh, deposited onto the wallet. Now we can go and actually uh, stake some CRO because this uh, using our crypto.org uh, tokens. Now you can see we've got 20 available. We'll just do 15. Uh, excuse me, just so uh, we make sure we've got enough for fees and everything later on. And we press continue. And so 15 crow, 2 crow, max, you know, network fee. There is a small network fee. You can see it's very 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 small it's not even worth a cent uh, so we'll just confirm that and there we go so the pro the transaction is processing so it will be on there eventually hopefully um and then you can see now that we've got 19.99999 cro along the top there so that's because uh we had to pay that small tr uh, network fee and then when we click on that uh, we've got our 15 cro uh staking and you can see we're already getting rewards uh, so we can, you know, we could stake more if we wanted to. Uh, we could unstake, uh, redelegate. Uh, so that just means uh, move between uh, validators. So we could, you know, go from crypto.baz yada yada to this one. We don't want to do that. We could claim our rewards. Uh, so you can see we could, if it loads, there we go. So you can see that we've already earned, you know, bugger all. Um, sorry, you can see that we've earned, you know, bugger all. Uh, CRO, not even one cent worth, but we are earning already, which is pretty good. Uh, but there is a network fee to uh, claim rewards, or we could look at compounding our rewards. So if we wanted to just uh, restake the max amount, we could absolutely do that. But I'm just going to let it uh, um, grow a little bit more probably before I, you know, start um, playing around with it. But it is that simple to uh, stake using the Trust Wallet. You can see it's on there already. It's staking. It's going to start earning yield. Yes, it's only $3 worth, but I'm sure if you're using larger amounts of money, it would be very beneficial. That's basically it for the Trust Wallet token. So it's a very simple uh, wallet to use. Obviously, we've gone through how to receive cryptocurrencies, buy cryptocurrencies, earn cryptocurrencies through the Trust Wallet. Um, of course, and then you would just send... Uh, your, same way you receive your cryptos uh, onto the Trust Wallet, you would send them away uh, onto an exchange to sell when you're ready. But it really is just that simple. There's not a lot to the Trust Wallet token, but I think that's what makes it a really good uh, DeFi wallet. It's very simple to use. Uh, there's nothing crazy going on, right? There's no you know, insane rewards programs or anything like that. It is just very straightforward. They offer, you know, the staking, which is great, uh, especially for people in countries like Australia, like me, where a lot of exchanges don't offer any sort of uh, way to yield cryptocurrencies. And it is very simple to use once you wrap your head around the whole um, idea behind uh, your... So excuse me, once you wrap your whole idea around how wallets work and the right blockchains and all those different things, obviously you saw I had that little slip up uh, sending uh, the Kronos through the Kronos chain, not the crypto.org chain. I didn't realize uh, that it was a different, uh, that it was only through the crypto.org chain, but you know, those sort of mistakes are super easy to fix. Uh, which I, you know, did pretty quickly. It only took me about five minutes. Uh, so once you wrap your head around all that, it is super straightforward, easy to use. Uh, and DeFi is definitely a far safer option, right? Uh, it's assuming that you're responsible enough to, you know, remember 
uh, all your codes and everything, then you know you do avoid the the risk of storing on an exchange. Now, of course, if you guys did enjoy or find this helpful, remember to hit that uh, subscribe button. We are currently at 534 subscribers. Let's bump that up to 600. Uh, I do have some referral codes down in the description below. None for Trust Wallet, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, if you're looking to sign up to different exchanges like Crypto.com. Um, a couple of Australian exchanges, things like that. Definitely go check them out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.